Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van Otten Company. It's Thursday, May 11th. I'm going to go over the markets with you for the day here. Uh, lower trade started off today with export sales and they were dismal. So just some really poor numbers. A lot of that probably to do with the fact that they shut down the Mississippi for a little bit due to flooding uh, in closer to the Corn Belt and to the I states. And so uh, you really saw some very poor export sales. They were expecting them to be halfway decent. Didn't see that. And with that, grains just couldn't really hold on. So both corn and beans closing into our three to four lower. That's kind of the story that we've seen with corn, just not able to extend a second day rally. So big day yesterday, just couldn't extend it here today, mostly due to those export sales. Wheat was the same situation, but they were able to come back later in the day, up one to four. Meat markets, all a little bit of a weaker tone here. Um, feeders were down four bucks at one point closed down just shy of two dollars uh, live cattle down about a buck uh, lean hogs traded both sides of the market outside markets not a whole lot of movement you did see crude market up once again so you had that big draw that you weren't expecting yesterday and then today it sounds like OPEC is trying to talk to the United States about starting to cut back on our production to try and inflate that price and so uh, you saw crude market up slightly uh, the Dow down well over 100 points at one point working its way just barely lower on the day now and US dollar uh, traded both sides as well. So not a whole lot of news out there except for those export sales this morning. Tomorrow we'll be really looking at that forecast. Calls for a lot of rain coming to the Corn Belt here on Monday or Tuesday and we'll have to see that. Could bring some premium especially now to the time frame of soybeans. So soybeans kind of behind pace and we'll see how that goes as far as our next planting report here on Monday. Also tomorrow we'll get an idea of what managed money has been doing to these markets as they are near record short holdings here into the corn market. I I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading in futures and options involves risk loss and would not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.